What up bosses, Nina here. And today I'm gonna show you an app I use to create multiple pictures on Instagram from just one picture. As you can see, the theme of my Instagram is to break down pictures into multiple pictures um, to create the illusion of a lookbook. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Please excuse me because I've been sick and my voice is horrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and get through this because this is a much asked for video. Okay, let's go. So basically what I do is I take one image and split it like this. The app that I'm using to do this is called Giant Square. It's the one over on the right here. And so with Giant Square, when you click on it, you actually get several options for editing your images. Um, the first one is called Square Edit. This is for if you have a picture that you want to actually put in a square for Instagram and to make it fit. I'm not gonna go through all the details, but basically you select an image from your library and it puts it into a square format. I don't really use that too much. It doesn't fit into my theme, but wanted to show you guys that anyway. The next feature is actually called Collage Maker. The Collage Maker is just like any other multiple photo collage maker. It looks like that. Um, you put multiple pictures in there. So let's move on to the picture effects. Picture effects actually allow you to edit the video, or excuse me, edit the image, um, putting filters, scenery. Um, it's really, it's actually a really good app. Again, I don't really use this for that. I use VSCO for those kind of things, but what I really like about this is that you can do different effects and overlays um, and you can actually change the shape of your image. So this would help with creating themes for your Instagram. Okay, let's get to the star of the show. What I use is called Giant Square. Now, when you first select it, it gives you all of these squares. You could select all of them and that would create nine different posts in your Instagram. But the theme that I use only selects six and I'll show you why. Since I use my thumbnails um, from YouTube, I only require six. It kind of fits the pattern a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my thumbnail, see it fits perfectly. Well, almost perfectly. As you can see, there's a little bit of room on either side. Um, I'm sure I can like fix that and, and edit it to make it fit. But for me, I usually just move it over to the side so you can see the text and I'm fine with that. So next, let's move to saving. Now, keep in mind when you save it, it's actually gonna save individual photos for this. So I'm gonna open this in Instagram. Unfortunately, it doesn't post automatically. It's actually just gonna post your first image, but there will be six images and you're going backwards. So if you look, the first image is there. And this is gonna be the photo that would be in the bottom right of your collage. And then you're gonna go, like I said, you're gonna upload them backwards. So let's go. Okay, after I select the first image, it gives me the option to select different filters as usual. Don't forget, if you do select a filter for this image, you have to select the same exact filter for the rest of them, or they're gonna look kind of weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my description as I always do. Since I use these thumbnails to refer people to my YouTube channel, um, I actually just tell them a little bit about what the video is gonna be, and then I um, refer them to click the link in the bio, and I add a bunch of hashtags. Um, I'll copy this and I'll paste it to a couple of the other ones, like maybe three out of the six will say the same thing, and the other three will say some, you know, something else. Um, and then I use different hashtags on each post to attract different people. Again, don't forget, hashtag is magic and the queen of the internet. So um, now that I have that done, I'm just gonna repeat the process for each of the images until my collage is, well, multiple pictures, giant square, whatever you wanna call it, is done. And here is the finished product. So is this something that you're going to use in your Instagram posting or are, do you have another app that's better? Leave your questions, comments below as usual. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of these other videos for cool tips and tricks on Instagram, graphic design, and social media. Ciao.